Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. We are getting ready for Africa in less than two days now as of recording of this video. Uh, been a little busy with work and some doctor's appointments so I haven't really been on that much in the last couple of days. So I figured we'd head out here to Nez Perce Valley. And check out what we have going on because we're obviously we'll probably be spending a lot of time in Africa. So I figured the next two days I'll head out here and see if I can get any more four or five stars uh, before we head out there. It's going to be a quick video today. I hope you enjoy it, and like if you want to, come on along and let's see what happens. All right, came upon a some whitetail here, and to my surprise, we have ourselves a. Two-star mature, a four-star mature, and there is another two-star mature maybe behind one of these trees. Now, I did take a female out of this particular herd uh, to level up my caller. So I don't, I'm not sure if I want to take out this two-star mature just yet because I don't want to delete this zone. I know it can happen because I really want to see if this four-star turns in the five star if i can get a little bit closer to him here now he does look pretty gray to me but i love that rack on him rack is beautiful so i think he's got a real decent shot of making five stars so you can see him there so even though he is gray it would be it would make sense to take this guy out the two, this guy actually looks a little bit grayer than him but I am not going to. We're going to come back and we're going to fast travel out of here and remember the time. <clears throat> it's almost 7 o'clock at night. And we'll come back here and we'll check this in a couple days and see if we uh, if this guy turns into a 5-star. So let's head out of here and see what else we can find. All right, so I used my caller, my low fitness caller, to bring in anybody here out of this whitetail group. And it looks like this guy's the only guy that's responding. I do have a 2-star mature back here. I just cannot get a shot on him. I'm going to try to call one more time. It's the guy I was hoping would come up. This other one here looks like a young male. But we will see if we can. He's going to continue to come in. He's the only one, so... He's the guy that's... I'm going to try to kill. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. Let's go for a frontal. See if we can get a heart. Well, that was neck. That was not what I wanted to do. But I got him the second time. Now, I'm curious. He was a young... He was a young one-star, but... The caller did bring him in, so that... I'm guessing that means he was not very good. We're going to find out here in a second. If this caller actually does what it's supposed to do, and... I am the lower level for this caller. Not the lowest, but I, that's why I've been trying to use it to get it leveled up. So this is what this guy would have scored. Yeah, so he was only 49% genetics, even though he was a young male. So that actually was good. So the caller actually did what it intended to do. It's one thing I haven't used enough in this game. And I tr really wanted to try to give it leveled up before Africa, but I don't think I'm going to get to level 3 by then. But anyway, let's go out here and see what else we find. Hopefully it's something better than a young uh, male whitetail. I'm going to take a shot here, if I can, on this 3-star mature mule deer, I believe. don't know if I got him. I could barely see, but let's go see if we got him. Oh, yeah, he went right down. No doubt about this one. Now, let's see if I made the right call. I was literally 60 yards from him. Had no choice but to take him, but let's see here. Yeah, he looks pretty great, so probably wouldn't have made it. Let's see. No, he's only 76% genetic, so he was a three-star mule deer. 419 pounds, and like you said... No chance he would have made it to five. Probably wouldn't even have made it to four. Maybe. Anyway, let's take him. 
and let's see what else we find. All right, got some mules out here. Again, nothing great. We have a two-star mature, and I've noticed today a lot. You know, I haven't recorded. I've come across a ton of three-star matures that I'm not sure that just turned. So I haven't been shooting them. I'm really trying to get my herd management under control in this game. So not a lot of action today so far, but that's kind of what you have to do in this game. You have to manage your herds, and sometimes it does take a while, but it's, it is worth the wait. So let's see if we can call this guy in. Well, we're not going to call him in with an elk caller because that wouldn't work. Let's try this. Let's see if this guy to move any of these guys to come over here. Oh, the white-tailed deer heard it. Let's see if Mr. Mule Deer is going to come over here. Did that get his attention? It did. We'll let him come in a little bit closer. But again, I hope everybody's enjoying the video and is having a great day. I do want to thank everybody for coming in. It does mean a lot for your support. I really do appreciate it. So let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. Maybe just try a frontal. Maybe we can get a heart. And I think we got it. Go so check them out. So we should just be ready now to go back and check the white tail. We advanced the day one more to see if he turned five. But I'm really excited about a lot of these herds. I have about seven or eight, like I said, three star matures of different animals that I saw. Again, they all won't make five star, but I'm pretty confident one of them will. So let's go over here and check him out. And nothing great. But I did get him with the collar, so it actually helped me boost up my collar rating. And he's 44% genetics. Again, nothing nothing great. Just look at his rack. I mean, not terrible, I guess, for a two-star. I mean, a little uneven, a little goofy looking, but I've seen way worse. Yeah, so we're going to collect him now. And we're going to go change a day, and we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. And hopefully this thing became five star. We got some white toe out there. Nope, they're going. All right, let's go check it out. All right, came up here to check our four star white tail to see if he had turned. And to our luck, yes, he has. He's now a five star. He's about 172 yards away. And we are going to take a shot on this guy. It's absolutely awesome. Now, as soon as I get my gun up, he'll either run or lay down. Let's see. Make sure I'm zeroed right. Should get an easy shot here on him. Don't want to blow it. But he is broadside, and he is going... Whoop. I always get nervous on these five stars for some reason. Let's do what you always do. Oh, there he is. He is down. I, wouldn't, I didn't feel like chasing him. I don't care about the the hunt rating let's go collect this guy absolutely awesome i kind of thought he was going to make it to be honest with you and i also luckily just my three star mature bighorn that i just spotted just turned to four so i said you know what let me go down and see if this guy turned to five and he did and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that big horn, too. All right, let's go check this guy out. Let's get ourselves... Let's take a look at him. Oh, the first shot was a heart and left lung. I didn't even have to shoot him twice. So I did lose a little bit on the hunt rating. But he is a five-star mature. 92% genetics. I didn't think that first shot hit him well, the way he jumped, but I should have been a little bit more patient there instead of shooting twice. But yeah, he's absolutely beautiful, and you know what we're going to do with him. He's going to be going in our lodge. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, I can't think of any better way of ending the video than that. Another five-star whitetail. Awesome. And again, we only have a few days left until Africa uh, release as the making of, the, of this video. It's only two days away, so super stoked about that and hopefully before the africa comes out we'll get back out here and maybe try to do one more hunt to see if our 
We have a couple, actually a couple three-star matures that I've just turned. Uh, mule deer and something else, I don't remember. But that four-star bighorn is the one I want. I want a five-star bighorn in a big way. So, again, everybody, thank you for stopping in. If you do like what you're seeing, click that thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. But until next time, everybody, stay safe.